Revelation 1-2 is one of those passages that really helps us learn to think grammatically when we're translating. At times, it's in a sense, you have to kind of say, okay, I'm not going to worry about the translation. I just need to figure out the grammar. I need to figure out the structure of the verse. Then once I get that, then I can go back and do the translation project. So let's take a look at it. John is introducing himself, and he ends with the mention of Ioane in verse 1. And then he goes, who witness or testified concerning or with reference to an accusative of reference, the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. And that either could be a subjective genitive, the, the witness that Jesus gave us, or it could be an objective genitive, the witness that's about Jesus Christ. But then you get to this, the correlative, hasa edain. And the question is, what is the relationship of Hasa to Lagon and to Marturion? And if you look at the translations, you can see they're split. Either Hasa refers to Lagon and Marturion and they're the same thing, or Hasa is an independent construction that is paralleling log on and march in and refers to yet a third category of things that John is going to witness to. You can see that, for example, in the NRSV, who testified to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Well, if you're wondering where the Greek behind the word even is, it's not there. Uh, the same is in the ESV. That's an interpretive word that's added. And it's based on the assumption that Hasa is not referring to Lagan and Marcherion, but is referring to other things. If you come over to the CSB, you can see testimony of Jesus Christ, comma, whatever he saw. The NIV alters the order of the phrases, which you have to do at times, who testifies to everything he saw, that is, the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. And the Net Bible says, testified to everything that he saw, concerning the word of God and the testimony about Jesus Christ. So in other words, this is your basic translational question, and that is, does the Hasa phrase refer to a third category, or is it connected to the first two statements of the witness and the uh, word? If you want to phrase it, it would be something like this. You have the reference to John in verse 1, and then you have the beginning of your relative clause, and he witnessed concerning the word of God, and he witnessed concerning the testimony of Jesus Christ. And so here's the question, where does Hasa Adon go? Well, if it's a third category, then you would phrase it like this. And in this case, he's witnessing about the word, the testimony, and then whatever, in the sense is whatever else he saw. So that's where the NRSV and the ESV go. If that is not how you think this exegetes, then you would probably want to drop this clause down and to indicate that these two phrases are referencing that phrase. So it's an interesting issue, and I prefer to do it like this, who bore witness to everything that he saw, i.e., I mean, that's what the comma's doing, namely the word of God and the testimony of Christ. So again, sometimes in translation work, you just have to stop the translation, figure out the structure, and what does the hasa connect to? What's it referring to? And then once you get the structure settled, then come back and do your translation.